Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sri Lanka. This long-running, or expected to be long-running series of Xeri Kings through here on the Lord Master channel. Well, as we're still in the middle of the series, um, and we still got a long way to go, but well, we are going faster towards accumulation, and we are quite far away from degeneracy, so we don't have to worry about it until we reach the next phase, which we would, no doubt, pay more attention of. You know, like once we get the accumulation, then that means we got to stick with purification as the next. We got to keep going this cycle and never go back to degeneration. And uh, especially, uh, ah yes, and we can support the sangha again. Which again, the current prominence, 320. Remember, the goal is to get it up to 900. And I've chosen the uh, Mahavira Monastery where. From now on, and that includes to the descendants of our dynasty who will run this country, the main patrons will be Mahavihara. Because we're taking the historical routes, because they're the ones that won out the little Sangha struggle, and uh, we're going to keep it true to history here, even though it's going to take a while longer. Perhaps another hundred years for this playthrough. So as much as I would like to support the Sangha, However, I have other priorities, and this may help me gain some renown for this. Because I would like to get one last bit of the uh, Dynasty Legacy, but we need this much. And we're almost halfway there to it. I'm already betrothed to this woman that I want to love, as it'll be a grand wedding. Hmm. Which would do that here in our capital. In which my attention is on um, this one who gave renown and prestige. Even though one would think that I'm spending a whole lot of money on this again. Because, you know, I just like to burn the, well, the, the terminology, burning cash here. They didn't have to, and plus, they said if you're doing it in capital, you're going to gain some gold as time goes along in addition to the monthly income here. So that's what this early episode will be focused on. And it's fine for the average opinion of everything. <laughs> Which again, I'm an unmarried man. I'm, uh, how old am I again? 33. So I think it's about time that I get married and do all this. Which again, we've not done it in this part of the series. <laughs> Although diplomacy would be nice, but we don't know what foreign guests will come here. Unless I invite them personally, but I'm kind of really feeling indifferent. But it would be nice if uh, I heard the other guests that are neighboring rulers. Again, don't be there. It would be nice to get in alliance with, with uh, Andra. Or Kondras, because that was the one that I originally wanted to um, have an alliance with, but has no daughters to give away. And one is a hostage, and a giant too, which I didn't realize that in the previous episode. And speaking of the previous episode, back when I said that I was going to cut the episode short, I did not realize at that time I recorded two hours worth. <laughs> uh, let's not do that again, huh? So again, this grand wedding... The entertainment we'll have is acrobats and musicians, it's the staple performers at any respectable court, food and drinks, which will be a generous feast, an appropriate banquet that will please all guests, and here, silver and gold, an unapologetic display of boundless riches and enough servants for each guest to have their own, have their personal cup bearer, which further increases the opinion of all the court day vassals, will gain renown and prestige of this. Glory on the courtly vassal will gain more opinion of me, and I'll be a magnificent host for the, for to see this gain. And the diplomacy lifestyle experience, and monthly stewardship lifestyle experience, which is something I'm trying to work on here. Stewardship! And I'm willing to burn through all this. Uh, so it's going to be a long time before this wedding starts, but... Let's begin the preparation ceremony, shall we? See, all that went away. 
seven months for it to begin, and it's going to take a long time for her to travel. Hopefully she doesn't get killed or drowned out in the sea, uh, knowing where she'll be coming from. When you'll be here, darling? 11th of October. Hmm? Grand wedding cancelled. She became the regent and will no longer attend. Actually, he's going to. I don't think it matters because the grand wedding is not cancelled. Is it? Okay, this seems a little odd. You got this person who is invited to come to the wedding. And since he has no heirs, uh, and, or at least a different heir, that's, and they'll just say, uh, you're the regent, because this man here, well, his daughter is the only heir. Even though it's not from a prestigious dynasty, it's rather obscure. So both of them are going regardless, and they'll be here by the 11th of October. Safe travels, all of you. And that means I can't support the Sangha while this is ongoing. No. Not until after the wedding is done. Remember, 11th of October, unless there's delays. Now she is traveling on the Bay of Ben... Goal. There we are. So this is where she is. Have to go through the Andaman Sea. So yeah, here comes the bride, which is a long way to get here. Seen as the black sheep of their noble house. Pass it through the island, and we'll go into open sea to the Bay of Bengal. On to the coastal sea. You're getting closer. Doesn't appear to run any complications. And hold it right there. Diplomacy. Condras. You're the man I don't want to talk to. This is an attempt to gain an alliance to select a character, even while I'm in the submission. I hope to make it a negotiated alliance with them, because I always have good relations with House Kandras. Now that she's here, now I gotta wait a couple of more days for the other guests to arrive. Which I'm sure they've ran into delays and complications. But the guest list you can see here is huge.
3rd of December. It always feels amazing when you have been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it. And it's finally here. Everything is ready, the decorations are in place, the guests are mingling, and servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I'm pacing around in excitement and nervousness for my future spouse, um, um, Chahanui, um, appears, radiant in her finest attire. We are ready to begin. I can't wait. 57 guests, including one of the Chola rulers, Amandra. Uncle. It's only these areas there that are the ones from the outside. And of course, many other courtiers and other people. Whoa, 93 years old. Who are you? He is um, Radia Gaja Kasari, caravan master of, of the ruler of Andhra. 93 years old. Huh. You've been around since the beginning of the series, even way before it. How did that man live so long? Was he really that blessed with such a long life, even though he's infirm now? Well, do enjoy the wedding, as you are the <laughs> oldest man I've ever seen. In my lifetime, anyhow. Pay attention to the activity log. Overjoyed at the amount of saffron cakes. Offered respects to the off the Paramara. I gained right 90 renown. I was impressed by my court artifacts. I was if organizing a wedding worthy of my family's statue weren't stressful enough. Also have to deal uh, with uh, my spouse's relatives. Her brother, um, Mane Mina, uh, Minangi, arrived right and early today has been following him around ever since, complaining about this or that non-stop as I feel a spinning headache growing behind my eyes. He continues blabbering under the turret. What kind of color are those flowers? They will clash horribly with uh, Tenari's complexion. And why would you choose such a tasteless arrangement for the tables? And don't get me started on these gold deep fabrics. Oh, 50-50. I'm sure we can find some common ground. So you'll be either pleased or is not satisfied. I'm convinced. Paragon of Virtue. Impressed by my court artifacts. Oh, there goes one of my bodyguards. He was a good man. Died in his sleep. Huh. The preparations and rituals of the wedding ceremony are many. Uh, in the wall between them, I hear some snickering and scoffing coming from a group of generous relatives. When they see they got my attention, and I mean, Minangi start addressing me directly. It's truly a shame we couldn't find someone better for Porsche Night, but such is life. Oh, 50 50 again. Handling the situation will also make a good impression on him. I will prove you wrong, which is due to my diplomacy attempt. So I either make a good impression on him again, or I can't disapprove his prejudices. It's likely going to be the latter. Still doesn't like me. Crud. That lowers the chances of trying to form an alliance with them. Oh, that's my dog. I found a space cover, my thanks. What was it, sure? The pets was covered the investment. She's just a dog. Behind all the rituals and ceremonies, weddings are first and foremost political events. As ceremony reaches climax, my mind is already focused on what comes next. Will the Alliance stand 
who I knew spouse be a valid help in the management of my land? Yet there's still not a question I have to answer before that, as it's time to give my explicit cons consent to the marriage. Do I want to spend my life, the rest of my life with her? Remember, she is the heir to one of the lands, which, which I hope members of my dynasty will inherit once I have children of her. So this isn't just a political marriage, but it's to spread our dynasty further into Burma because of our special relationship between us, of us and Pagan. So I say I do. I will marry her, regain the piety, the next ten years here, Rula's grand wedding for more development. And we gain each other ninety renown. As the ceremony concludes and we all move to the banquet venue, I secretly smile to myself, pitching the joys to come from my married life with Janai. Not everyone can be so lucky to marry such a likable person. I wish everyone to share on my happiness. Let's all tuck in. Enjoy the banquet. She's impressed. Oh, I diplomatic skills. After observing uh, a give from afar, brother-in-law, I quickly come to the conclusion that I cannot just approach him and start talking about the weather or the latest, latest medical treatises or war and pray that it becomes a lines. Soon I spot Manai um, Indra of uh, Thupenya, Thupenya across the room. He was known to be Nagi's best friend. Have we chugged down a goblet of Thar? Tell me, where do Nagi's interests lie? I ask, attentive. Here, obviously, a moment of celebration of good food, fine drinking, and a most exquisite company. His best friends are coming. So, so they became friends. Um, so they became friends after they soaked together in a bathhouse. So, a man and a woman in a bathhouse together. Okay. Um, and uh, also, Leandra uh, and Miyagi found endless trust in each other after he helped her right tome of memories. It's my half sister who's the regent there. Ah. You know, she looks rather homely, but still, who am I to judge? She's loyal, she's contrite, she's compassionate and forgiving. Is a best friend of a man who has diplomacy education, but however, he is a contradictory figure. He's content, compassionate, lustful, and vengeful, which makes him a vindictive empath, which he's very compassionate and very vengeful. As I said, contradictory. But he really hates the Leech for attempted murder. Oh, so they don't like each other. She tried to murder him. Ah. So he has every right to be mentioned, even though his intrigue is poor. But they're still at each other's throat. Obviously. Just this once. Fantastic. Let's use this inside at once. I I know I'm a patient man, but I could take the hit. With my newly acquired knowledge, I artfully approach uh and uh, I who's enjoying the feast and some others company at a different table where rich cloth is laid. May we have a small word, Mane? I ask. Want to interrupt your parliament? He raises his eyebrows, a hint of curiosity in his eyes. Well, of course. What matters uh, bring you to me, noble Gajabahu? Oh, he's a man of diplomacy, is my brother-in-law. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Hmm. 
He's kind of hard to read. Very compassionate, very vengeful. Charismatic negotiator and hunter. I'll, I'll say this. So, did you hear about a treaty? Nothing is miserable, don't you think so? I mean, it sounds like a diplomatic thing to do. Like Snake Out, that's intrigue. This is diplomacy, I believe. That's Marshall. That's, um. Probably stewardship, and. This is intrigue. Okay, I'm not sure. I'll just go for th this option. He's insulted to crud. That one is my best chance at this. Gave me a wedding gift. Gave me some Adata scale armor. Hey, wait a minute. The old scale armor? I mean, that looks familiar. Yes. Used to be my father's, and then inherited and gave it to me as a wedding gift. You know, I have no need for that. This is Gajabahu's skill armor. You should be wearing that. What's the matter of you? Giving me a wedding gift like that. Specs of the Chola, mighty renown. You what? You used a hook on me, cousin. And you made yourself the. Okay, and I cannot fire you, even though there's clearly someone better at the job. Oh dear. You're going to be around for a long time. Become the owner of Tisaraka's Milk Tooth. As the banquet goes on, I find us thinking a bit, uh, thinking of it a bit underwhelming. No impressive silk or tapestries. The finest gold has no place here. Uh, neither do the greatest gems. As I look through, look out the window, I find a night sky somehow inspiring. Out there exists the white game. They freely roam our woods, and among the trees they hide, hunting one of the dairy deed. Maybe I could simply pay to our stag white. How else can I honor my own wedding? Oh, I'll take this. Plus, got money to give away. Although, it, it does go against it. Again, I'm doing a few things, but I don't want to do too many rule breaking procedures. So, this will help me gain renown, but a sharp guest may feel suspicious. Every gregarious reveler, drunkard, brave, hunter, or gallant in the guest, including this man. As the stag enters the hall, its pale fur shines brightly under the moonlight, and almost a, a fluorescent, uh, I'm not sure how to say that word, an unnatural glow, the deception is almost perfect, a marvel. Guests stand in all and quickly approach the animal, daring not to touch it, for its nature is sacred. However, I spot the uh, Devraya Gaja Kisari of Andhra among the crowd rolling his eyes. Can't you tell it's just paint? Agarada Gajabahu must take us all for fools. Last chance. How dare you doubt me in a day of my feast? He reluctantly believes me. Completed my diplomacy attempt. The feast is starting to wind down with everyone sitting and tired, but the day is still not over. 
A procession of guests leads us to our bedchamber for the legitimacy of a wedding pens on it being consumed. Consummated, excuse me. It is time. Gained a favor, Hogan Vikram. Oh, welcome. You paid me 40 gold. Thank you very much. Alright, alright. Uh, led to the chambers by the Ross's wedding party. Echoing, the echoing shouts of laughter held during the betting ceremony. Raj Porohitam Sagaratisa blesses our marital bed uh, before tucking us in, pouring cups of strong spiced wine and directing us to drink them. We turn to look at each other, both with tense of expectation, and the party flies off. Before the door shuts, our brother, uh, guy, guy cries, Atta girl! That guy. <laughs> I think I just need some more wine for this. <laughs> just to lose stress, because I'm honest. Five agrees. Seed flowers. When finally the last guest leaves, I look around at the deserted venue, the food leftovers, the spilled some on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter still linger in the air and feel satisfied. What an amazing day. I feel I feel like I did a very fine job organizing. Thank you all for coming. I married her, magnificent host, gained additional forty gold, closed the stress, celebrated a magnificent wedding. Grand wedding is concluded. And yes, you gain renown for that. And what is this you just given me? Ah, uh, the milk tooth. First fallen out milk tooth. I can actually equip that. Oh, no need for that. Ah yes, the Bejeweled Torah. Have I already equipped that or am I crazy? Ah, the Worn Language Manual. Son of a Bezax, why aren't you using that? That helps you learning Tamil. And also, to be honest, I did not see the option of... Uh... Oh, I see. So she's the region. She's going to go back to her home country for a bit. And then we'll travel back here. And then there we go. Again. It's traveling. Once I learn Tamil. I'll be sure to seduce her. Because I don't think we actually laid during the uh, consummation ceremony. Wants to go to Deccan, India. Ah. You got it. And another thing, support the Sangha. Aravana schools, of course. Every little bit helps. sister-in-law, who is married to my half-brother. Well done. Factions are disbanded because I held such a magnificent wedding that I won the respect of vassals, and therefore they're not going to turn against me. The country is stable. That again, the opinions are already very high anyhow, so we w would, have, would have impregnated her already. I hope she doesn't die of 
childbirth. Otherwise, all that money was wasted for nothing. The time has come for me to depart on my adventure, my Agarada, my beneficiary, um, Jacinta. Bows as well as she can while weighed down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep? I feel for my journey. I'm not sure. Because, as you could see, Well, uh, bring me something from an exotic animal. A skull or a hide. I can see that. My court to has been aiding me day and night in my efforts to learn Tamil. A dedication to the artist teaching is inspirational. There's not a day when I'm not brought a Tamil letter to read, a learned Tamil man, a conversive, or an extraordinary monic rhyme. True, I would not be as far along without a help. She is doing her job well. What's the culture except since I kept increasing with Tamil every once in a while? 68. And it's going down slightly due to the decay towards baseline. So that's very high. My old port of it dies and here's the new one. Fine. Time. 15 months and I'll become avaricious. I would like to travel again, which would have to be a pilgrimage um, to the north. Varanasi is the one other place we've not gone to yet. My cousin Vikramabahu, uh, the one who, you know, did that thing to me, approached me. In private, with clear doubt in his eyes, he explains to me that his faith is faltering due to his time spent guarding the border against Shaivism and fraternizing with the enemy. His words are not in jest. It feels as if the size of state could push him away from Siddhartha. Yet, this is an opportunity to strengthen our fervor as well as our relationship. I will reignite as forever myself. Theravada peasants moved from there to Vani. So now you got a large minority of Sihala in your country. Not to mention Theravada, and not Hindu. Sisupala has become a permanent fixture on my court, and an expensive one. Actually, an expansive one, too. He is there for every banquet, wolfing down everything inside while complaining about how. Empty his own pantry is. You serve the best drinks, my lord. He says after downing another tankard of my finest imported teas. You are the most tranquil, the most sensible, the best looking lord. He declares his hand extended for another loan he would never repay. He's an annoying waste of money, but his exaggerated antics are quite entertaining. 
He's a Kanauji Svetabara Jain. Oh, not a true Jain at all. He's a he's a reveler, gluttonous, greedy, craven. But he's a poet, well traveled man. He was a guest to the wedding of the century. I don't know you were here. A little sleep deprived. By Siddhartha, man, you are not a true Jane in any way, shape, or form, the way you act. But I'll say, since you are always here, you might as well make yourself useful, since, you know, you do all these things, which I find it quite entertaining in my eyes. His revel, his own revelry, could be a form of entertainment to me. Since you're always here, you might as well make yourself useful here. Uh, court jester. Plus, it helps with the with the court grandeur. Diggers, <laughs> man, my enterprise is in abroad. Came up yesterday with a plan to increase the amount of levies on my orders for a period of ten years. This means an upfront investment on recruitment centers present in my vassal's lands to place a premium that would entice more people to join my army. As a matter of rest in the hands of Dekasamana, and in the knowledge of the Severed can strike a sensible chord with my vassals, I can only hope he performs well. So, this depends on his capabilities, influenced positively by his high martial, which he does, and diplomacy skill, which he doesn't. And by having some dread. Well, he's a torturer, so already he probably has some dread. Because he's a torturer, you see. And he looks hideous. I don't, I don't think he looks that hideous. He's got the beard that probably covers most of his bad looks. He's influenced negatively by having a medium or low martial skill. I believe his high martial will overtake the negativity of diplomacy. So go ahead with the plan. See how it goes. Oh, as the very as the door to the Burbank chamber opens, I'm not greeted by the smile of midwives in the crime but instead Mahesh is Janara's heart wrenching was. I'm so sorry, my lord. The midwife does not look at me nice. A tiny card woman. Your daughter, she's in the room. That was my daughter who was stillborn. If it's not meant to be, I understand. We can always try it again. Oh, so the old man just drank himself to death. One would think he's heard of the news about this stillborn daughter of mine, who, and, and then he just drank his last days, and then he died. Drank himself to death. Oh, it doesn't really matter because, you know, a person of my dynasty is going to get the land anyhow. But she's married to me, so she can't remarry. Because, you know, women are not allowed to have multiple spouses. Unless they have some form of cultural tradition or a religious tenet or doctrine that is female dominated, as allowed to have male concubines or multiple husbands or whatever, that sort of thing. So she isn't here now, she's over there. So all I can say is crud. Now I got no spouse to help me at court directly. You better find yourself another spouse. Sounds like that wasn't a good investment at all. Except making vassals happy and renown gain. I mean that was all good. Here's something for you. Silk Road Entertainers, just for you, my darling wife. Though we are separated, uh, I mean, we don't mean, you know, not like the words. Had a sore throat earlier and took this herbal concoction to make it better. As some suggest to me, though I'll admit my throat does feel better. The medicine tasted disgusting. Ah, can't make that taste go away. Yeah, story of my life.
She is Sambin, which is Baroness. I'll be sure to seduce her when uh, I finish learning Tano. The antics of my Sanavarat. He failed miserably to persuade my vassals of the benign intentions of our actions. In effect, he blundered his way in dealing with everyone, acting rashly and senselessly at times. In the end of my vassal's opinion, the least suffered a setback. A costly mistake. What have you done? You done made everybody mad. Accusations of witchcraft, blood-stained cloth, crow's feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from the Jayarajapura. That's proof that um, Rasumilia has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of the village. The villagers claim that her evil works must be the cause of their bad weather and are calling for execution. You know, witchcraft is shunned in our religion. But not to, to some of the Hindus, which they view as accepted, especially those huh, Krishnites. No, that evidence is circumstantial. Release her. I can be a merciful man, but at times I rush into things for political gain. Stone upon my vest, scratch for some of my dog shot, biggest scratching her stomach. This dog here is quite a charm, Lord. She's a good girl. Oh, uh, not again. That Cinevarad of mine did a bad thing. You made everybody mad, and now they're forming factions against me again. Finally, I've learned Tamil. Just, just for the progress. Send a letter. Uh, Impress some of my knowledge. Again, I would like to have a child. Spread our dynasty further. Not particularly interested in learning our language because that's too much time. Forgiving likes us, yes, forgiving likes my all my personalities. Yo get it. Beat me to it. Cannot wait to hold the baby in my arms. And hopefully for real. And if she dies at childbirth, then my half-sister gets it. Still part of the Vijay Bahu house, which is all fine and dandy. Negotiate an alliance. A mutual alliance between us. I'll ignore that request um, because it's unnecessary, in my personal opinion. Here we go. Avaricious. That's what I am now. Gold, gold, gold. Can there be any higher calling, any gold more noble than the pursuit of wealth? That's plus two stewardship and only taxes of Plus 15%. Although the income could have gone higher, but still. I am that kind of person. I 
I receive a missive from my adventurer. With words of bell shot, I could see her in the theater of my mind. We've been sending up the rivers around the winding hills. After a drought, the locals tell us the river we traveled by dried up ahead of a vast vessel. Instead of giving up or turning back, we attempted the impossible. I commanded my crew to start building a track and pulley system. We started dragging our boat across the land towards the next river. So it sailed in the sea of grass and daisies. You can probably imagine what I did next. The boat just about survived the journey. That's an 80% chance that she succeeds dragging the boat up the cliff and increasing our prowess by two. And the artifact will be of higher quality. And prestige game for me. Or 20% chance that the adventurer stranded fixing boat. Broken boat. She did it. You know, Scholar is virtuous. I'd like to take the Scholar area route again. Not to mention the developmental growth. You still got a long life ahead of you. So it's best to get to work on being a Scholar. Anyone could buy a token of affection. Big or small. If I want to impress her, I should send her something truly special. She's a magnanimous villain. Very cruel, but very forgiving. So how about a rose? A reminder of our... F I don't know. But then again, she's ruling a place, but I think a handkerchief of my crest on make good use of a symbol from someone of my stature. We're both nobles of landowners. Thank you so much for the crested handkerchief you gave me. I could scarcely remember the last time I see such a wonderful gift. Anything for you. Sister-in-law from my half-brother, who is due to inherit... Oh uh, yes, due to inherit over there. Name them after me if you like. Yeah, this is the place where my half sister's ruling there, though she's not yet married. Though I'd like to arrange it just I you know, something for her. If I find a don't worry about it. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales of this land, unverifiable, full of honor. A group of Andamanese peddlers uh, were pulled to have brought inland objects, said to come from the faraway court of the great ruler, Vasif Romanos, the fifth of the Romans, no less. Bim uh, Singh, the leading trader, grins darkly. This unique spear could be yours for a special price, of course. Great Agarada. A likely yarn indeed. A book to. Ramachandra for guidance. I cannot recommend this work on age. The hammer dents are wistful, he nods at me stupidly. Ha, Thrace. What tripe. Out of you. I arrived back in my dug after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born on this day 36 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationship I call the Veronese. So it's sad that I have not heard from my wife or any of my friends today. I trudge along my chambers, loneliness and impeding my lazy feet when I hear a clang and hush whispers down. What could that be at this hour? Happy birthday! Yes, we know all the. all those things. Give me the biggest one. Honor of the fine sword. Had something like that before. Compared to this one. In fact, what's the difference between two? Plus two more prowess, plus one advantage in planes, while the other causes more casualties. Well, I have an improved version, one would think. But I have no regalia. 
illustrious now. Remember, this is due to the fact of um, also some of the dynasties I can see I have. Yes, stewardship up for level of fame and same for diplomacy. Reading in the memory of Kasumi. Kasumi. As conversation slowed and the once laughing guests offered only tired smiles, Sabenshinari turned to me, still brimming with energy. I have something in store for you, for everyone, she said. Can you guess? A reading, I replied, noticing a lingering clerk by the door with a heavy tome in his hands. Finari was impressed and gestured to the, the man inside. The man's servant pulled up a chair, and uh, Savachinari rose to her feet. Dear friends, she called across the room. Any suggestions for our dear poet? Even though she addressed everyone, her eyes settled back on me. You may notice that that text of that event, as part of the seduction event, is kind of different than you get typically. That's due to one of the mods I'm using. Um, I forget which one that, you know, changes it. Give me a moment. I think I remember the name of it. It's, uh, it's, uh, Immersive Writing, Love and Romance. It's the Immersive Writing mod is what I've been using, in which they plan on expanding more for future updates, but for now they only done events that relates to romance and seduction. Yeah. Well, outside, let's be entertained. Travels to Jerusalem. I think she would want to hear something entertaining. As the cook reads for us, she seems completely engrossed. So approaching. Good choice, Gajabahu. She says it smells coolly. Truly, a lovely grasp of his prose. Traveler claiming to be employed under my beneficiary is uh, brought before me, carrying a message from the adventure. Fear not, my great lord, but is it does a good health? I bring you news possible to fund an even greater adventure. You see, is that took a wrong turn somewhere is now near Kanir Kubja, that's North India. There is it, this child can find unfurls a dirty map to show me where they ended up. She has enough funds to make it to Deccan India, as planned, but suggest that some additional funding. You can chase up on a local rumor and bring home a great artifact. Life's an adventure. Explore that area for artifacts. Going to deck in India? Instead, going to India. North India. You defrocked heretics? What's the wrong view? What's the wrong view? What's the matter of you? So brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. Now we have a perfect little son. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name would befit Agarada? Oh, that I'm gonna have to figure it out. 36 years old, and I finally have a child. Nice hat, darling. <sighs> think, think, think. Even after me would be nice, but I'm not that great. <clears throat> it's 
thinking. Thinking. Think, 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 think. I got it. I thought of it. I done thought of it. Kind of tech. And yes, it does end with Bahu. Because I was thinking about that. <laughs> Let's just keep up with the tradition of ending with Bahu. Give me a moment. Is Parakrama Bahu. Parakrama Bahu. Parakrama Bahu. Remember that. Remember that name. Just to try to pronounce that correctly. Yes, I spelled it right. Turco Afghan culture. Turco Afghan. What do you know? Sarge have been all sent away. Our bed is decorated with roses. S7 uh, enters our chambers. Uh, she smiles coolly and joins without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reform the devotion we swore before Siddhartha, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. As we are united in marriage, and now we are united in heart. After having joined together in matrimony, I seduced her. I wish you could come to court, but I guess she will remain there. And why on earth would I declare war on somebody who's got the claims? That's my baby, right? Yes. Why on earth would I want to fight a war against the country that we have a tendency to have friends with? At least one of the vassals. But then again, I don't like the the female ruler that we fought once way back when. But all this forgiven. Although I would still love to marry another to someone to be at court with me to help me out with my problem. Like particularly with either Pandya or Chara. Because it's as good as we are between us, but uh Hey. How come she's not there? Ah, hostage. But that again, her reputation is already stained. Who was her lover? This man? Shared a night of passion and royal visit. This one shot a man along. This is an African. An East African man, probably. Correct? Yes? No? Maybe? No, you're way off. Not from the East African community. And is a hostage. But I'll see too if I can try to romance her. And uh, maybe a rope of her and be another one of my wives. The time has come to let my feelings towards um, Iradjitizi. Uh, 
There'll be no I want to remember to stay for the rest of the night. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> because I'm just a man of stewardship, calm and honest and patient. I'll just um be nice and uh write our love poem. The candle's burning low when I last finished my poem. Before I sent it, I give it one last read. Your thin lips are like a furry cat. I have no other desire but to hear your voice again. That I may know if your prowess carries off the battlefield, you and me together forever. The waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear to see what she means. While I cannot encourage you, Mamich, I am most grateful for your kind words. Yours faithfully, Irajiditi. Irajiditi won't resist my charms for long. Is it possible to try to do an elopement scheme after you romance her and uh, you know, be out of the clutches and then be one of my wives? Because I would like to marry her and this would have an alliance with Cheddar. Yes. There you have it. I returned from India with an artifact of my journey. I take the bulky bone under my hands and loosen the cords while peeling layer after layer of fabric. The inside is the hide of a beautiful fox. Dear said it tells me how she felt the vicious animal while I continue to admire the hide of what must have been a majestic animal. The hide of the wild fox of Madurai. That wasn't in North India. Madurai is over there. You did that on your way back. You couldn't find anything up there. And I assume that you got that tanned hide from that sad fox from Madurai. But, this is magnificent. You are a young woman. I hope one day we'll finance you another adventure. But at least it's something I could put up there. Tiny prestige gain. Oh, actually, this goes over there, because I don't want to have that hanging over my head. <laughs> I'm out to riding. My dog shot up beside me when she suddenly runs off the planes. My red team research she will come back when she doesn't. Hill, Shadow, I said Hill, wait for me! I searched a long time, but not a sign of Shadow could be found. Just about to leave, my uncle, uh, Bavarikrama, appears out of nowhere, Shadow told me. My friend, I do believe you lost someone. Such luck. Thank you so much. Curious. I'm just looking at it, but not actually planning it. I'm looking. So this is how much an average feast would cost if you put it at the max. And there's so many people you could seduce. I mean, at least it's local. If they're of the right age, of course. Who's this? Well, dang! <laughs> okay, you know what? Don't go anywhere! I'll recruit you. Stick around. I would love to seduce you and make you mine. Even though what you just did costs quite a bit of money.
Lady of United States, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. So ponder the request for a while before face lights up. I've been plagued by nightmares lately. But if you're truly devoted to me, you will stand guard outside my chambers and make sure no evil reaches me. You will sleep undisturbed. I'll be sleep deprived for a while. 85% chance that I will manage to stay awake and shall be well rested. And 14% chance to sleep for Clancy and she gets the opposite. There we go. She's well rested, but not me. Mm. Just a tiny penalty that I could take. Please do. This is my brother. Photo Renown. Getting there quite faster than originally mentioned. Scheme is frozen because she's traveling. Oh, where's she going? Attending to a hunt. Okay. So, I guess it can wait. Hunts don't take long. So, she's traveling from Madurai to Kongu. Not too far. Meanwhile, the officials in Vijaya Rajapura have gained a reputation for being honest and incorruptible, just like me. Focusing on what is good for the community, and not their own interests. Whether such an assessment is accurate or not, it sure reflects on me and my administration. Hmm. Yes. Let's analyze their success and apply those lessons elsewhere next five years, to pull the situation up a bit, and as well as monthly lifestyle experience up for the next five years. Every little bit helps. So yeah, I could wait. Hunts don't take long. She's arrived at the hunting grounds. And she's still a hostage of, you know, of that man. Center because she is a fornicator. Does have a grandson, but I'm kind of indifferent. I still would love to have her. In addition, there's someone else that I would want whenever I get to hold a big old banquet. is over. Now she's going back to Madurai, and we'll get back to the romance game. Alright, it's back on. No longer my antiquarian. Old age. I guess the prominence gone down a bit from my god. Unless it's by other factors, because it seems that Jetavan is catching up again. My second son. Agabodi. I like that name. Help! I was just stretching. Do we have a wet nurse, by the way? No, we don't. Anyone qualified? Oh, have you? Although, I still would love to, um, you know, like, like I could make you my second wife, but I want to do something with you before I can make it official. Because this is more of a me thing than anything else. But then again, there's you, who is quite experienced, because you have excellent health. That's how you get the aptitude. It's the healthiness of it. So I'll let the Italian one be the wet nurse. I 
two sons. Guardian. Without my children. 435 gold, I believe. That's how much it costs to put it at the max to hold a, a feast, which is something we do not typically do. But we are making a lot of uh, money these days. Thick chin, kind of chin would make a good wife. No, she wouldn't, because she's dull, and uh, she's arbitrary, she's deceitful, she's an irrational black god. Very dishonorable, but somewhat irrational. Not a good person. There is no woman lovelier than Uraditze. In her presence, my words off the family. None of my comrades ever do her justice. Perhaps a carefully drafted poem would capture her virtues. I will write about her. Oh dear. Somewhat bold, somewhat generous. I'll say, fearless fearlessness. Your luscious lips, uh, uh, luscious lips are the wings on which I ascend to heaven. I wish to be on only I wish only to be by your side that I may know your prowess carries off the battlefield. My darling Gajaba. She must have looked my poem. It's a wonder how this episode decided to become more of a love story. So what's very swimming of Gajaba. I was a struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me. I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle, with the aid of stone and glass, even old men struggling with bad eyes that could read with such ease. So, everything which is impossible to read. I mean, it's easy to, you know. To um, get the learning lifestyle experience, but there are other ways, you know, that you could get it much easier, especially by travel. Sell everything, because we're gonna hold a feast soon. This is half brother's son. Hold it in any part of your barony, eh? doesn't matter, inside of this county. Because you do have farms and fields, as it gives out a discount. Holding a feast here. That'll be exorbitant. Over two dozen courses from the lands near and far. Traditional fare, novel fare, soups, palate, cl palate cleansers, desserts, mains, and more. Great opinion day. culinary art pieces. Stuff this inside that pendant back. It looks uh, like a soaring falcon. A dish about a story is a little more than so. I'm looking to seduce somebody. And that someone is a uh, uh, Devi Doshi. She may be a Shavad Hindu. She's a Sorati. In other words, Gujarati. And who's to be the honorary guest? Well... <laughs> oh, I know. I think... This is just... I was thinking about it. It would be better to do it with my vassals. But let's do it for the old venerable Serbian caravan master. Who's basically, you know, honor every member of our family, in a way. This house is dedicated to him, in which he would feel particularly flattered about it, <laughs> because he's the one that oh, took my father, you know, out to many travels, and the many travels that I will experience, since he's the veteran traveler here. So let's start this feast. 
the servants run across while bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I have spotted some baked truffles uh, already. I spot um, where you got Devi among the crowd, totally unaware of my plan to seduce her, which I'll make her my second wife. Oh, have a lovely time out of us. It'll be so much for begins, because there might be others that will come here. And that includes neighboring rulers. Oh, and she's coming too. My wife is coming. No wonder why we're waiting for so long. Because we're waiting for my... My primary wife. You know, due to the degeneration being very far away, it makes me want to do things that we could never do back in Vijayabahu's day. And same for my father's day, Vikramabahu. Can't do anything. Sorry. No court event here. I'm a habit to walk Shadow daily. I'm not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and the sun the most. Shadow bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks as to say, Catch up. And on we walk. Walking dogs, keeping me healthy, despite being sleep deprived. Where is that woman? Still in the middle of the Bay of Bengal. Wants to be as pious as their parent. Still has a fine handkerchief from me. Maha Vihara Patron. Good. Again, we will honor Momchiro, who has turned 50 recently. He's a veteran traveler, but not yet too seasoned. But he's getting there. And in future, he'll take me to more travels. Never had a child, have you? Ah, oh, well. Should have not a passion during a role visit. I mean, that's why I made you in the first place, and yet you don't have. But at least you do speak my tongue finally. That was my old sister, Kalyanavati. Alright, let's begin. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies are near and far reaches of them. The mood is bright, the spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Wife's learning impresses Sagala. Sitting opposite my courtier, Muyika Devi, um, provides me with a veritable treasure trove of ways to tease her without breaking the rules of pride. With gusto, I bite firmly into a huge, juicy, firm parsnip. Lighting a little food spill out and dribble down my chin. I'm satisfied today. Um, like the tongue darts out, licking my lips clean. I can see the look on her face that the Lika Devi gets my message. What I can't quite discern is her expression. It's not the vicious interest of a poor tumbling stomach. It's alarming difficult to say. Hmm. I'll just say, perhaps just one more bite to hammer the point on. 
61% chance that says why Gajaba and grow closer to forming an intimate relationship with her. 39% chance that like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, crud. That didn't work. You done messed up the first step. After extensive conversation over my delectable dishes, Kitty expresses that he finds me most learned and wise, and I utter it as always a must be worth of those less well read than I. He recognizes true intellect, I see. I listen to the rat lot of me, Dala, as he carelessly reveals all manner of things, distracted by trying to get one last drop of his tanker. He is oblivious to how carefully I am paying attention. All they just happen to be very, very interesting rambles. A witch secret. On that man. On Nagadipa. It is such joy to see my uncle. Uncle Vikram. Once again, we eat, drink, and sing together as if no time has passed since we parted last. We could have been dining in a barn, and this would still be one of the greatest things I ever been Ah, what would life be without Vikram? Huge health boost. Very healthy, I feel. The feast is starting to draw to a close, and my visitors are surely expecting me to lavish a little attention on Momchilo. Our esteemed guest of honor. Traditionally, a cobbler and toast and a deep drink of tea does the trick. Then again, the whole Mom Chill did was turn up. This feast was my idea. I paid for everything and I hosted everyone. And now a toast to Mom Chill. Even though he's a total foreigner to us, but he speaks our tongue. He's basically one of us. Jebahu, named after my father, as the third son. Try to name it another ancestor. Not your ancestor, but the Hinde would do. A few can those survive it of the last guess stuff. I could hear Parasaurus sliding out sighs of relief after the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm. Every noble worth their salt will know that, that my magnificence is unparalleled. Therefore, everyone headed home with bellies full of exotic delicacies. I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful that the endeavor is over. And with that, it's done. It was a great banquet here. And now, by Shiva, and its teachers in sufferable hag, have you seen how she balls her hands into fists? Ridiculous! Um, Nadava, Konaponsana of Raya, throws his head back with a wicked laugh. And I is still conversing with her friends, and I could tell she heard him. I hate to see her hurt. Hey, you should apologize to the lady. Vincent don't apologize. Pregnant. Oh. He, the old man. She's going to have another wild oat. It's tempting that I would start becoming a, a deviant. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, but I would say whenever that event pops up one more time, because by that time I would have more eyes than I thought, well, again, I'm not a lustful character. But when you don't have a lot of children, you get 
Hey, where are you going? Well, I guess you can have it. Um, I mean, if you want to raise it under your culture, fine by me. It's not due to inherit anything. Oh, and do not forget. You also, you know, inherit that part of land which will go to Tambapani, which is not what I had in mind, but you get the idea. Additional taxes. Excellent. When Rebstates is warden, uh, Mandala Munia, you and I invited me to hunt, I did not hesitate to accept. I would do anything for mere clips of my dearest. I'm stalking through the underbrush, my page in my heel, and my hound just ahead. It seems to have found a trail, then suddenly my concentration shared by a woman's scream. Huh. I'm coming for you, my love. I always say that because she just had a granddaughter now. And, uh, like to get her out of hostage. Huh. I don't care if it's a written agreement. I need to get her out of there because, you know, Alliance of the Chera. Within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour, I reach a clearing. Urajite is on the ground before me, the shoveled and weaponless. Opposite her is just about to strike, stands a huge stag. My arrow strikes true and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment all Urajite can do is stare. And then she stumbles towards me and throws several arms. This is probably going to be a bad idea. I need you, my lord, right here, right now. I do not care if you're a fornicator. You are important to me politically. Because I can't arrange a marriage with us, but I was hoping this could be the idea where I would, uh, where I would try to elope. Is that even an option? Yes. Found true love after I rescued her from a wolf. Can we marry in secret? This is a goes against me because I'm honest. And did the divorce? Oh dear. But keep that in mind. He'll get mad. She'll be mad at me. Stops being a lover. Oh dear. And plus. Single county, and we already have it secured as far as succession is concerned. And then there's the other realm. Even though, and yes, that man is due to inherit all those things. He already has children of his own. I do speak Tamil. Intrigue was their intrigue. It's not important. Oh, it is important to me. If I do marry, Chera gets to have an alliance with me. If that's how it works. Let's try that, if that's even possible. Start a development scheme. Wards can get additional skills to become my friends. This is a personal scheme, not a your hostile scheme, that's the difference. Every little bit would help to bribe it. This goes against what I am, but... <laughs> hey. You're doing what you could. Help me with this. It doesn't say anything about my spy mask scheme, but... We need a cheaper agent. You'll do. One morning while strolling along my capital in the company of Arata. I mentioned a subject that he said I was negative for some time. Soon it becomes clear. Avirata is worried about the pressure of various facts in my mind external on me to assemble the costly general states in order to discuss matters of long term policy concerning Iran. And the knowledge is, of course, will only be voiced in my choice supports the venture. 
It is clear from a political point of view that I reap additional awards. In terms of prestige and chances of success, if on one take the assembled the uh, states of the realm instead of reacting to the max demands. As I've been warned, uh, he claims that my mind is now at rest. This mind's now at rest. Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Pay up, damn it. This is about as good as it could get. I don't typically do that. But it's something that must be done, and it's the way to get her out of that custody hostage thing. Pregnant. Oh, that's probably me. Or the other goof. I was in a rather melancholy mood today. Reflect on how do you see to pass by so quickly after one another, but they're a blur of jumbled, discarded memories. Once upon a time, I was a young, innocent child. Now I'm just sad and old. I'm not that old. I just feel a bit melancholy about getting growing older. And I woke up today with sore limbs, experiencing vomits, persistent cough, with extreme lack of energy. Probably just just the passing element. There's always the naggy possibility of something far worse. Hopefully, everything will be all right. What timing? What timing? Oh dear. <laughs> that she's just kind of me and I immediately knew why. She's with child and there's a little doubt in her heart as in mine as to who the father is. However, my marriage is tonight. There's nothing I could do except that my woman stays secret. I never thought I would come to this. Oh, you're ill too. Why on earth would I want to break up with my primary wife if I'm in a religion that can have multiple spouses? This is absurd. your lips on mine, and then by my ear, filling me with hope and urging me to be brave. I cling to that memory, but fear still grips my chest. What if Mandala Mudaya Yonahan uh, Yonahan finds out about our plans? Whenever he appears, I go stiff at speeches. It's not a matter of time until he notices. We're running out of time. Please, my dear Skajabahu, make haste. I'm a calm man. I just say, trust me, everything is under control. And she is convinced. Please be patient. And I hope none of the other agents get caught, unless they did something idiotic. No longer involved in this game because the man just ate some poisonous plants by mistake. Crud, he was one of the good ones. How old are you, man? He's feeling fine. Wait. Who else? Yo, from Kongu Nadu. Send him a gift. Convince him. Increasing the opinion. Yes. That's one thing. Doing something stupid. Like that thing. You have a sword, girl? 
gonna go to Mace. Ah, uh, never mind. Welcome aboard. But things need to get improved. Crud. The existence of my plots was discovered. While well, my bomb is not yet known, it will make it a lot more difficult to bring my plans to fruition. Curses! Exposed. It hasn't come down yet, but... We got about six months to make it happen. I'm sure you don't cost much, because you're just a courtier. Powder crown balls first, here. With my leave, my son and his wet nurse parading in my chamber, Jacinta poses like a herald and proclaims, My liege, you have witnessed a monumental occasion. Powder crown bow is a mighty gift to offer you. Nudges him forward. Go ahead, powder crown bow. Tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. Son proudly presents his tooth. The smile of enemy of pouts will fall into the side. He can talk well for a two year old! Lovely. The keeper tube is a good charm. Do it. Ninety-five. That's basically near guaranteed. I don't have much more money to spare to improve this plot further. Plot. Scheme. Whatever. My son and their Parakara balls are usually calm chop. While others play with their wild games, Parakarama Bahu often withdraws some to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot, but I could tell he was always thinking about something. I wonder what's on his mind. Is he pensive? It was not what uh, Panasami Nirubantu Gavaman was expected to find by spying on sick conversations, but discovering Ayonanzi, like relationships, does not hurt. Perhaps this can help my efforts. Oh, you got a lover in court, do you? I know your secret. Well then, this man's almost sexual. And so does he. I did not pay attention that he's homosexual. I, I did not see that. Now you listen here. You can blackmail him. But keep in mind... He may or may not accept this. That just... Do it. For the hook. Might be useful. Gotcha. If need be, um, huh. we can exchange hostages one another, even though. Huh. Doesn't plan on having any more chums this time. Or I could just demand payment off of them. Does not have enough gold. I could demand a hostage, which there's only one option. I'll say no to that, obviously, unless it's a strong hook. Because it would be better if you just exchange rather than, you know, the other way. Uh, 
about this? Almost. Improve relations with him, and then we can be get to talking. There is no renown gain for me. So whenever you do get money, I'll be sure to ask for payment. reading something before I res resume reading what I see in the text. With my hostage, uh, Lakshmi Karadevi is no longer in relevance to um, Sante Karadeva. Our pact itself is suddenly without purpose. It's free to take or leave with your family if so chooses. There's nothing can be done. Oh yeah, off you go. Well, meanwhile, I'm about to free somebody out of, you know, hostage. Just carry the burden of having given birth to a fatherless bastard. It is terrible for an unmarried woman or child. Yeah, I cannot let it be known that I'm the true father. Oh dear, oh dear. The wild oat must not be known until I get her married. And then we can acknowledge it. It's a scandal in waiting. Just keep it quiet. How many months? Three months. Oh. Within three months. Aspiring Blade Master. All right, something to protect yourself as you're being older. She's a bit ill right now, but the final preparations are in place. The escape route has been charted. The guards bribed, and our states it's ready. Tonight, as darkness falls over Madurai, I shall set my morsel free and make her my wife. You will no longer be a hostage, I hope. 95% chance that I'll be successful, that I get to marry her. I divorce my uh, current wife, even though I don't really want to. Would she be betrayed, be mad, love her? 5% chance goes over all the family members, uh, family members uh, insulted, and uh, of course our Pandian neighbor would be mad at me for that. 4% chance that I fail and not this way. I'm coming for you. As we wait, I cannot help but imagine everything that might go wrong. I feel utterly powerless, a feeling that I don't care to get further acquainted with. Spot a torch ahead, I'm moving our direction, adjust it to my guards to hide. I'd like to move ever closer. We can make out two silhouettes. One is carrying a sword. That much is clear. The other, it must be her. I run to meet my dearest as she throws herself in my open arms. The embrace is swift, but sweet as honey. With hand on mine, begin to run. Hurry, my love. The bhikkhu is waiting. I've spent many sleepless nights worrying about my donna. And what would happen to her if the truth of her parentage came out? Now that her mother, Mahesi Rajditsa, and I are lawfully wedded, and my old fears may finally rest, this secret will haunt me no longer. Thank goodness. Now, look, I'm sorry. Can we get back together, or are you still mad at me? Yes, you could be a second wife. You're basically, it's like, yes, we're, you're mad at me, but. You're kind of demoted from primary wife to secondary wife. It sounds stupid, I know. It's stupid. <laughs> oh boy. But I simply want her to be a, a still hostage. I am not going to return it to her. No, 
Well, they know how. Which means you can't attack me. Neither does your Chola Leech. You are going to remain here forever and ever. But get well soon. See? She's forgiving. I am forgiven. Sorry that I uh, broke up with you, betrayed you and all that, but it was uh, a political thing, I believe. Oh, excuse me. Um, does that mean we have an alliance between us, by the way? Almost. Even though I have too many alliances, but still. He's uh, traveling. I could tell that he's out at sea somewhere, or just by the coast, or whatever. Whatever that man is doing. I could even see. There's a revolt on his doorstep. that further increasing the prominence of it although I've gone a little bit into depth but uh, for future reference is that courtier still here the Gujarati girl she's still here might leave well then guess what I get to seduce you next you know Shouldn't be doing that because I'm honest, which I've been breaking the rules as of late. But this will be the next person to seduce, which we'll do that in the next episode. So in the next episode, I'm going to seduce her, make her mine, and she'll be uh, my uh, another secondary wife. Possibly the primary wife, as far as skills concerned. That one was politically motivated in order to have a alliance with Chara, which I'll improve uh, relations with eventually. And, uh... And then, I heard a good ride a girl, then, then life goes on. So I hope you people have enjoyed this episode, which does not involve much in the way of travel. As much as just here at Courtly Life and Love Life, and, um, not a single scandal on me. No adultery committed here. I was pretty savvy. So there'll be a little bit more to that in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.